In this video, you're gonna learn about a morning smoothie recipe that is going to save you time and give you tons of energy. And you're gonna learn about the number one mistake I see people making with smoothies and why you must avoid it, especially if weight loss is your goal. First, I'm gonna give you the recipe, then I'm going to go through why each of the ingredients are in there, and last but not least, I'm gonna reveal the number one mistake I see people making when it comes to smoothies. Let's dive in. All right, so first things first, we've got about three quarters of a cup of water in a magic bullet blender. You do one scoop of a greens powder, two scoops of a collagen protein powder, one tablespoon of chia seeds, one tablespoon of flax seeds, a heaping teaspoon of maca powder, one tablespoon of coconut oil, half a cup of frozen berries, and about a handful of greens of your choice. In this case, I have kale, which I gotten from the farmer's market and frozen. So all in all, here is the spread, and now we're gonna dive into why each of these ingredients are in the smoothie. So, first thing, um, the water. You could definitely use something like almond milk or coconut milk or something like that, but honestly, water is uh, probably better for you and it's free. So that's why I chose water as the base. Um, the unsweetened greens powder. I have this in there because there's just so many extra little vegetables in there. Um, to me, it's, it's a no-brainer, right? And this also has a digestive blend in it, which includes some probiotics, so it's very good for your digestion. So that's why the greens powder. I have the collagen powder in there, uh, the protein powder, really just to boost the protein in the smoothie, uh, so it gives a little protein bump. I have the chia seeds in here because these things are actually really, really high in fiber and also really high in omega-3s, which is just good for inflammation and good for brain health. Um, the exact same thing with the flax seeds. They're very high in omega-3, very high in fiber. This is probably um, my favorite ingredient in the smoothie and it's organic maca powder which is, it's actually a superfood, it's an adaptogen, um, and it's something that, it basically helps balance um, your hormonal system and gives you a boost of energy. So this is by far, I would say, my favorite superfood ingredient in the smoothie, um, which brings me to a question. I'm really, really curious if you've tried maca. If you have, yeah, leave a comment below. I'd, I'd love to know if you've tried it or not. What next? Uh, I've got some coconut oil. So this really is in there just to add some extra fats, um, especially in the morning. Your brain really, really thrives on you know good quality fats, so I've, I've thrown some of that in there. If you wanted to, you could throw even some almond butter or some nut butter in there. I just happen to have coconut oil at the moment, so I threw that in. Um, the handful of greens, I think this is kind of a no-brainer. Um, in my opinion, the more greens, the better, especially these ones. I got them from the farmer's market. And then the last element, uh, the berries. So this, this, the, really the main reason I have the berries in there is to sweeten things up. Um, but also it just adds a little bit of that cold element to the smoothie. Now for a lot of this stuff, um, I mean, I do get the, I try to get the greens from the farmer's market. Um, I try to get basically the greens and the berries organic or local if possible. Um, so I've gotten the organic berries from Costco, I've gotten the uh, kale from the farmer's market and I just froze it because it helps add a little bit of that cold element to the smoothie. Um, but everything else, as you notice, is it's not fresh produce, right? Um, this is something that you can have on your shelf and leave it for a bit. And it's all stuff that I got from Amazon because it's super convenient. Um, it's really easy for me to order that, order it in bulk, and get a really great price. Like for example, um, this kilogram of chia seeds, which I love these guys, Yupik, um, I got the entire kilogram uh, for 10 bucks. I think this entire thing of flax seeds was $5. 
so I get a lot of my stuff on Amazon and if you want the links to these specific products I will put them in the description below. Now this last ingredient, the blueberries, brings me to my point uh, and really the number one thing to avoid which is I see people all the time putting too much fruit, especially high glycemic fruit, in their smoothies. And what started out as something really healthy turns into a sugar bomb in the morning, which is really no different than eating Pop-Tarts for breakfast. And what happens with that is when you put too much fruit and too much high glycemic fruit in your smoothie in the morning, you get this, this spike of insulin and your energy goes like this, and then later it goes like this. So you don't want that. What you want in a morning smoothie is just a little bit of fruit. That's why I stuck with half a cup. And you definitely want to be using fruits that are low glycemic and have high fiber that are going to keep your energy consistent throughout the day. So my top recommendation for fruits in the smoothie uh, would be any kind of berries. So blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, blackberries. Those are not only the best bang for your buck in terms of, in terms of antioxidants, but they also have the lowest amounts of sugar and the highest amounts of fiber, which is gonna still add that element to sweeten things up, but won't turn your smoothie into a sugar bomb, and therefore you won't have that energy crash, and you'll have smooth, consistent energy all morning long. Now I just wanna make a point that every comment you leave, every like you give, or every subscriber, that helps show YouTube that people like this content and it's valuable. And if you got any value out of this content and you think somebody else might benefit from seeing it, please leave a comment, like the video, or subscribe to my YouTube channel. That shows YouTube this is valuable and it will share this video with more people. So there you have it, a superfood morning smoothie that will save you time and give you tons of energy. And the number one thing to avoid, especially if you're using this to try to lose weight.